Hi, I'm Lara and this is Short Train Trilogy and today I will be doing the birthday book tag. So this will be my last video before my birthday on November 20th and I thought this would be a fun little tag. Now I will admit originally I planned on doing a book review but that will definitely not be in time for this week so I was like hmm what's a fun little book tag I can do that's pretty chill that I have some good answers for and this one fit the bill. Not only do I like the questions but also it's birthday themed which is relevant. So this tag was created by Antonia Always Books who I will link down below. So let's get right into the questions. Number one, birthday cake. A book with a plot that seems cliche, but you adore it anyway. So for this question, I picked Divergent by Veronica Roth. So I read this when I was in high school, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was in high school when I read this. And at the time, I didn't really analyze books that much or notice cliches. I either enjoyed them or didn't. And I enjoyed Divergent. I think for me the appeal of the book is I, I still do think that the characters are very well written, specifically Triss. I think her character arc is very well done. In fact, I did a whole video talking about why Triss in the book is better than the movies and how individual scenes can strengthen characters or make them weaker in subtle ways that don't even require you to change the main outcome of the scene. I definitely recommend you check that out and I'll link it below. But anyway, my point is Divergent fits pretty much every YA dystopian cliche. It doesn't have love triangles, but I would argue that that's not dystopian. That's just a regular YA cliche that happened to be in all the dystopians, but it's not inherent to dystopia. But I digress. My point is, it's a very cliche book, but I think the characters are well written and it's very fun and fast paced. So I would still say I like that book. Number two party guest your most anticipated book release of this year so for this i have two one that i just recently hauled is the wolf and the hawk a fantasy romance by julian grace so i am super excited to get to read this i've actually already read it once to beta read and i really liked it but i'm excited to read the final copy and also read it without other people commenting as i'm reading it but yeah, I'm super excited to reread this. And my other most anticipated book actually comes out on November 21st, the day after my birthday, and that is Songs of Autumn by Lauren Severe. So one reason I'm really anticipating that book is it's actually about a topic I've wanted to see in a book. So I watched a lot of Let's Plays of video games, specifically Fatal Frame, where there's this backstory where a girl had to be sacrificed to save the world or something, and she has this terrible brutal death and in those in all in those games it always goes wrong and then the area is cursed but the reason i was specifically interested is like i kind of want to read a story of someone who grows up knowing they have to be sacrificed how they deal with that and whether they live or die or something like that i wanted to see a story from that character's perspective and the songs of autumn the protagonist is supposed to be sacrificed i think to save all the magic in the kingdom and that's such a cool concept and i'm down to read it number three birthday presents a book that surprised you with how much you loved it so this book didn't surprise me i picked it up when i was in high school and it was a book that i did think i'd like because of the back blurb sounded interesting to me it was about assassins in this dark medieval setting however the part that surprised me is i didn't realize this at the time it was a genre romance book now why a genre romance but romance was one of the main genres on it and before then i never liked a romance in a book like i sometimes wanted characters to get together in books that were middle grade where they were friends for a long period of time and then the last book in the series they got together like that type of romance where it's really not a romance until the very end and it's just the friendship that you're like yeah they'd be cute together but this was the first book about characters falling in love that i was so on board with and i rooted for them and that book is grave mercy by robin lefevers it 
The romance in the book is just very well done. It's a slow burn and it's a cute story where this guy and the girl, they don't originally like each other, but they have to work together and pretend to be a couple and they slowly grow to respect and appreciate each other and eventually fall in love and I ship it. Number four happy birthday song <laughs> a book that definitely deserved all the hype it got so i've read several of the really hyped up ya books and while i can see the appeal of a lot of them i do feel like a fair amount of them are very fun but don't have a lot of depth to them now there are exceptions there are popular ya books that have a lot of depth but this one became super popular and in some ways I was surprised about it because when I originally read it, I was in middle school though, not high school, I thought this book was very unfun and I didn't like it for that reason. But I eventually reread it senior year in high school and I found it to be really interesting and well written and I liked the depictions of different things such as PTSD and the political turmoil in the setting and I definitely think this book deserves a hype it got because I think it's genuinely well written. I also feel this book is almost one of those YA books that is like pushing readers to grow more and to think more. I, it feels like a slightly more adult YA. Not that more adult is better, but it has a sense of maturity to it. Which I'm not sure if you will agree with me, but that book is The Hunger Games by Susan Collins. I really like this book. The Hunger Games to me, reading it, I almost enjoy it more as a, as a thought provoking book than a fun book. This book makes me think. And the writing style in it with Katniss very, being very detached, originally was a turn off for me but then when I got older and I reread it I'm like wait her being detached is actually symptoms of some of her trauma and that's actually really interesting so I definitely like this book <laughs> number five happy music a book with some very beautiful and truly memorable quotes so this book I've actually reviewed before. and in this review I actually read a quote from it I thought was very beautiful it's kind of dark and not like a beautiful situation being described, but sometimes I actually, I, in some ways I find darkness being described in a very poetic or beautiful way to be very appealing in fiction. Like I'm like, that is awesome. Like that's so much, that like I'm more into that than like beautiful things being described as beautiful. It's like, no, give me messed up stuff, but then some use some beautiful writing and I'm like, mm, amazing. So that book is The Vagrant by Peter Newman. And again, I have a review for this book. I definitely recommend it. And I will link that review down below. And I just want to read that quote. It's one paragraph at the end of chapter one. So it's not something that's really a big deal. But the way it's written, I really like it. And it's not a beautiful thing, but how it's written is what I like. Stick like people and bloated flies gather in the twilight both drawn to the still warm corpse of the dog spawn. By morning, they have picked the bones clean. By afternoon, half of the people have died, their stomachs unable to accept the rich meat. By evening, their skeletons are bartered over by necro traders. In New Horizon, nothing is wasted. Boom, that is chapter one, and that definitely gives a feel for the world by just discussing one thing worded in the way that I think is very poetic or beautiful. I don't know, something about how it's written really appeals to me, and I love that paragraph. One of my favorite paragraphs in fiction. Yeah, like, come on, if you remember the pair, like a specific paragraph years later, you know it's a good paragraph. Number six, getting older. A book you've read a long time ago, but you think you would appreciate it more rereading it as a mature reader. So this book, when I originally read it, I did not like it. However, when I started making videos and discussing things, this book was one I constantly went back to for a terrifying world or things it did well. And I realized that I appreciated the book. I just didn't really realize how much I appreciated it as I was reading it. When I was reading, I was like, ooh, I don't like that character. This isn't fun, but then it stuck with me. So I know it was good. And I won't reread it now that I'm more mature. 
and that book is 1984 by George Orwell. You know what this book is about. It's a dystopian with Big Brother. And I think one of my original turnoffs was how bad the protagonist was. He's a terrible person at the beginning with terrible thoughts. And I was like, ew, why would I want to read about you? But that's the point. That's exactly what society made him to be. And the story is exploring how someone who is a product of his environment tries to escape it. It wouldn't work if it was someone like me in there because I wouldn't be there. And I really appreciate that. And that's one thing that I learned from books like this is that something I repeat in multiple videos is characters should be products of their environments. And this book, I think, does it really well. And I definitely want to reread it. Number seven sweet birthday moments a book that kept you incredibly happy during a sad or demanding period of your life so when i was in college i enjoyed most of my years but i will say my last year was a bit more eh, it wasn't my favorite year i was a bit lonely at times and stressed from school and i actually really didn't read much at all in college because i was always so busy and overwhelmed but there is one book that I picked up and I flew through it. This book is what I'm trash for. I thought the romance was really cute and also part of being lonely, reading about a really cutesy romance. And I don't like most romances. Like I, even after this book, I still don't like most romances. But the way the romance was written was a very step-by-step -step way where I could see a clear progression so my brain could keep up with it. And so I appreciated all the cutesy romance stuff. And then there was also like a lot of action that was like cool different scenes a little violent not crazy violent but you know fun violent and i enjoyed the book for what it was and i flew through it like this book is the epitome of what i consider my reality tv book it's just what i'm what i'm trash for it's a popcorn read and that book is the savior's champion by jenna moresi i couldn't read anything in college like even books that I reread now that I'm like, yeah, those are five star reads. I couldn't keep into them as much as this book. So I definitely think this was a fun, cute romance that I really enjoyed. So yeah, I'm definitely glad I picked up this book when I did because I really enjoyed it and I found the romance to be really cute. So yeah, those are all the questions. That was a very short, nice little tag and I had a lot of fun doing it. If you have answers to any of these questions, thoughts, or any of these books, please let me know down below. I would tag someone, but this is a birthday tag. So it's like, I don't know when, like, I don't know who has a birthday right next to mine. <laughs> so I think I won't this time, but if anyone wants to do this on their birthday, or to celebrate my birthday because like feel free to anyway thank you for watching please let me know all your thoughts down below and i'll see you later